the Ministry of Civil Aviation said on Tuesday that it would make sure that Air India continues to operate uninterruptedly. The ministry said that it aims to improve the airline's operations as the government plans to go ahead with Air India's disinvestment process. Aditya Birla Group Chairman Kumar Mangalam Birla in a personal LinkedIn blog post has said that tensions between nationalism and globalization will be the most defining trends of the current decade. While the march of globalization is perhaps inevitable, what is certain is that the world is no longer flat, stated the billionaire businessman. He said this could lead to slower global trade as economies would go regional. As globalization makes way for slobalization, the emerging pattern of trend is more regional, he wrote. Amazon Inc. CEO Jeff Bezos on Tuesday visited Mahatma Gandhi's memorial in Delhi soon after he landed in India. Posting a video on Twitter, the world's richest man wrote he paid respects to someone who truly changed the world. Bezos is here to attend Amazon's two-day flagship event for small and medium businesses, which will kickstart in Delhi today. He is also likely to meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his India visit. If global rankings are an accurate indicator, India fares rather poorly in innovation, research and development. Indian companies do not figure in the top 100 list of the most US patents granted in 2019. The list is mostly dominated by the United States and Japan. China is the rising star. A 2019 list released by IFI Claims Patent Services, a provider of global patent data information, states that the US holds a 49% share of US patents granted in 2019, up from 46% in 2018. Anil Ambani's bankrupt telecom company Reliance Communications and its subsidiaries have finally received bids worth Rs 25,000 crore for its assets from his brother Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Geo Infocom and UV Asset Reconstruction Company, a Hindu business line report said. The two companies reportedly emerged as the highest bidders in the committee of creditors meet on Monday. Wholesale price index inflation has risen to 2.59% in December from 0.58% in November. This is the highest inflation figure in the last eight months. WPI inflation had touched 3.1% in April 2019. WPI inflation had stood at 3.46% in December 2018. According to data released by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, inflation of food articles increased to 13.24% from 11% in November.